got another little project to work on here in the shop. This is one that I had kind of showed you on S and S a little bit. And what we got is a it's a head off of a, a Kellogg compressor. And what has happened is one of the fittings that broke off in this hole here. And there's also a crack, a very fine crack on this side that needs to be fixed also. So the first thing we need to do is uh, go ahead and get this the remainder of this broke fitting out. And then after we do that, we'll set up and, and we'll V this out and weld it or braze it. I haven't decided yet, but we'll figure it out here shortly. Uh, I'll pull the camera in here and give you a little better shot of this on, on what we got going on and what we're going to do. So there you can see the, this is the tapped hole here that's got the fitting broke off. And it, it looks to me like maybe he tried to uh, cut it out with a tap because it's got threads in there. So we need to try to get this out and then also there's a, there's a crack. Maybe you can see it in that paint right there. It's right, right in there. There's a crack. You can kind of, you can just barely see it going across right there, across the cast. So I need to, I need to fix that too. So that's the repair at hand. I think what I'd like to do is to uh, try to remove one of these, uh, maybe this fitting right here, give me a little bit more room to work with right here. And, and I believe that's going to be the same size uh, NPT and I believe that's going to be three-quarter it might be half inch it might be half inch pipe we'll find out though so we'll go ahead and get started on it we're going to use the big reed vise and I want to go ahead and remove this I don't know how tight it's going to be but they look like they're in there like they've been in there that's an inch and a sixteenth wrench Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. All right, yeah, that should be your. That should be the thread size right there. So let me go see what that is. This is how I use a gauge pipe whenever I can. I just grab a tap and verify it. And it's half inch. All right, so we know we're working with a half inch NPT hole. I want to drop it. So what we're going to do is use a die grinder, and I've got a carbide rotary file in there, rotor burr, and I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to try to lightly cut this out, just trim it, until I start seeing the cast iron threads. And I'm gonna carefully do that and work this thing into where maybe I can pull that thread out piece by piece. Sometimes works pretty good like that. So let's give it a shot. And this thing is loud, so I do have my earmuffs on. start to see it now you start to see some of the uh, cast iron threads so I'll have to move this thing around because the bottom is the easiest position to work in you know that's where I can see it you can see some of us trying some of us trying to break away now from uh, grinding it down to where the thread the thread is so let me see if I can 
start uh, picking it out of there. one of them anyway. So I have to get it, I mean, to move it and see if I can continue to work work the thread and pull the, pull the brass out of the thread. I'm trying to get it to where you can see it a little bit too here. Oh man. You can see it. It's lifting. It's moving. It's loose. I just got to, there we go. There goes one of them. There goes one. All right. Just about got it, I think. One more in here. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, we still got a few more. This might be a little better position to try to show it on camera there. Okay, that's one way to get her out. Now what we'll do, we'll go back to the vise and, well, maybe, maybe not, let's see. What I was, what was going to say is we need to go ahead and chase the thread, but we've got all that grinding and welding to do. So, you can see it's fitting now. All right, so next step is uh, the crack. We might go ahead and try the, the uh, TIG technique. That way we don't have to get the parts so hot. We've got these other you know parts in here. So we just need to get it beat out good <clears throat> and uh, find us some nickel rod and we'll start welding. I'm gonna go ahead and cut in a, a uh, groove right there where that, where that crack is and we'll get her ground out. all that paint from just that whole area there that way there's less burning and smoke going on and 
you know, the burning smell of the, of the paint. All right, we got my nickel rod prepped and ready. And I'm gonna do a light preheat on this. It's not gonna be a real hot. I'm not, I'm not heating up the whole thing, but I wanna warm it lightly. Got the uh, welder set on um, DC straight polarity. Gas on, water's on. All right, here we go. Let's see how it takes it. and they're pretty good. Just trying to get comfortable here. is flowing okay. I need to go ahead and turn on my fume extractor. We got a little bit of fumes coming out. in there pretty nice. Go ahead and lay another bead in there. I got multiple passes down there in the in the crack area. I'm gonna put a little bit more right here on top, kind of build that up some.
Well, I think we got it welded. We're gonna have to run a tap in there. Make sure the hole's nice and uh, cleaned out. So we'll do that next. Play with the heat gun here just a little bit. It is kind of a shiny surface up there. It's not supposed to do very good on. And about 166 right in here. 155 right down in there on that paint. Run this tap down in there, and make sure the thread's clean good. I ground that that V notch just down to where I was seeing it discolor where it was grinding into the threads. I could see a little discoloration where it was really, really thin there. And that's as far as I went on the grind. Feeling pretty good, so we're gonna leave it there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. tight right there at the top so hopefully that'll work right, I think we finished off our little repair job here there's another good look at it there in the light so I had I had talked about this in the uh, one of the previous episodes of SNS, I think two weeks ago. I said this belongs to Mike, and I apologize, that's that's not his name, that's uh, Keith, Keith Mason, he's, uh, he's local here. And I was telling you that Keith knew my dad and my granddad and used to deliver, deliver steel. So I had run into Keith down there at the flea market one weekend. This was a few months ago, I think. And he told me about this, and asked if it was something that I'd be interested in doing so I told him I'd drop it off and I'll see if I can get it done for you so that's what we're doing I went ahead and cleaned up the two fittings that I took out of there Keith and I know I believe you had said something about not sure where to get these if they still make them I'm not sure uh, what style that is exactly <clears throat> but you can probably go up to uh, Pensacola Rubber Specialties I would guess and get get a fitting like that these are looks like they're cast casted bronze or casted brass and that one that I repaired here you you're gonna have to use some kind of sealer on that thread I would recommend one of the Loctite thread sealants for uh, pipe thread there's a few to pick from so just uh, check those out all right well I'll be talking to you soon, Keith, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video on the little repair job here. And we'll be back for more, okay? See you guys later.